behavior of non-existent objects. It was really tame to me when I did a quick intro uh, of, of test room development at, at my company, developers and, and non-developers, and, and I think a light went on for a non-developer where she said, so wait, you're writing tests for things that don't yet exist. And that's something I think developers have to struggle with, and, and I think it's something that non-developers actually have to struggle with. And, and once you kind of get it, that you're able to write tests for things that, that have not yet existed, then you can you can switch things around and, 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 go, and, and get started with, with the whole test driven process. So here's here's the kind of the, the cycle that I like to use. The first, writing a failing test, uh, which is uh, is a very important part of the process because if your if your test isn't failing, you're you're not getting set up for the next step, which is writing the code to make make that.